joined by Paper Rex. Um, we're going to start with a pre-submitted question. First question goes to Forsaken from Sports Kita Esports. Uh, there were a lot of ups and downs in this match for your team, but it ultimately did not go your way. Mm -hmm. Where do you think your team went wrong that allowed EDG to close out today's series? Mm, well, I'll say maybe mm, some of like communication problem, and then we always, I mean, not start slow, but the second map we kind of like start slow, and then we like throw so bunch of rounds. I'll say. And then we like not reading the opponents well. Maybe that's one too. Um, yeah. Thank you. We'll now take some questions from remote media. First question from Sons of Chaos Latem. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Jan. I'm from Sons of Chaos Latem. Um, sorry, Rulos. My question is general. Um, what game factor do you consider import that should not be repeated in the next match to ensure victory? Wait, uh, can you repeat the question? Can you repeat? Sorry. Yeah, it's quite unclear. Which uh um repeat my question? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what game factor do you consider import that should not be repeated in the next match to ensure victory? What factor shouldn't be should be considered repeat shouldn't be shouldn't be repeated. I think so. Yeah. Okay, um uh I think I think the whole day today we were one step behind. Every single every single like move we make, they were ahead of us and and our communications need to really, really be a lot better this time. I think um it just fell apart. So we need to look into it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions in the room? Uh, come to the mic over here, please. Here, right here. Thank you. Uh, my question is to Alex, but anybody else can also answer. Um, so you guys have a super innovative split comp that consists of the double controller triple duelist. Um, today I noticed that it seemed like in terms of information, it was a little bit of a struggle to gather it. Do you think that you'll be adapting that comp with something else in the future, or are you going to try to stick to this? Um, or do you think there's a way that you can make this comp compensate for that lack of information? Hmm. I mean, it works. I, I I just didn't think we played to our strengths today, you know. I think uh, I think it's probably my fault. We got the game plan a little bit wrong, you know. Normally, we're not so uh, defensive on the on the A side, and I made them play a lot more aggressive on middle. So I think that's the main reason why it looks like we don't have information. But normally, I think um, we don't actually feel that we have a problem knowing where people are going. So this this game is uh, yeah. I think uh, we just played it really badly in the. Uh, Playing the composition really badly. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from Pedro Romero. Hey guys, commiserations on that serious loss. Um, I got a question for for Alex. Um, it's sort of similar to how to the uh, other previous questions that have been asked so far in this press conference, but more so talking about EDG. What were, how did you view the performance given the fact that you guys have been faced them? Uh, various times at this point, what kind of challenges have they thrown uh, uh, towards your way that kind of made this series difficult to win? Was it more so them playing well and just thwarting your strategies or more so um, just your performance just being underwhelming? I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely both. I mean, you got to give them a lot of credit, you know. Um, they stuck to their guns. I think they didn't change too much from Chinese Ascension, uh, but I could, I, could, I could tell that they adjusted a little bit and they adjusted pretty well for us on Bind. Um, I think uh, we didn't lose on Bind. I think they were just better on Bind, but I think on Split, we definitely should have played a little bit better. And um, we will be looking into it yeah, to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Sorry, do you want more details? I, I wasn't... Uh, I can't remember the question, actually. Uh, it, it was more... Yeah, it basically just um your view on whether, you know, it was more so of 
them playing well or you guys not playing as well? I mean, I mean they have improved. You know, every time every time we play them, it gets closer and closer. So I mean, this this you you can't you can't you can't keep beating one team forever. You know, eventually, like even us and the RX, you know, eventually you beat them and it it we we go back to the drawing board and we see what we went wrong and we try and make it better. Thank you, Pedro. Yes, I got another question, but this time it's for Moniet. Um, I actually conversed with your coach, Alex, regarding your inclusion to the team last year, given the fact that you're replacing Jing for this iteration. How have you been fitting in with the, this team from your perspective? You know, what kind of challenges do you feel you have uh, experienced so far, you know, including this recent match um, against EDG? Um, I think for me, it's more like a confidence problem, I think, for myself. But fitting into the teams, I think we did very good job at fitting me in because it was very uncomfortable at first. But after we keep practicing together, it was pretty good. Thank you. Are there any other questions? All right. Well, that concludes our press conference with Paper Rex. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.